I'm at Republican State Senator Russell Pierce of Arizona, who wrote that legislation, as well as MSNBC political analyst Pat Buchanan, center of your screen, and Maria Teresa Kumar, the executive director of Voto Latino and an MSNBC contributor. And a welcome to the three of you. Thank, Thank you, Alex. Thank okay. you. Thank uh, you. S Senator Pierce, did you expect this kind of reaction when you wrote this bill? And if, if so, what do you think is the most difficult point for people to accept? Well, yeah, the difficult point, these are anarchists. These are people that are open border folks, don't care about the law. They ignore the damage. Rob Cranston was killed on the border. Officer Earthly, Officer Atkins, Officer Martin, Officer Setkev. I can go down the list of police officers and citizens killed and maimed by illegals. This is the same crowd. When we passed Proposition 200, just to stop voter fraud and welfare fraud, I've been sued seven times, won seven times. Employer sanctions, I've been sued five times, won five times. I had every ex expectation of these folks coming out and telling you things that aren't true. This bill does not allow the police to stop anybody that they couldn't stop before. All it does is take the, the handcuffs off. Sanctuary policies are illegal. We simply say in Arizona, no more catch and release. You're going to enforce the law. And we're going to make clear that states have always had the authority to enforce this law. It's just been politically weak, need folks who have, don't have the courage to stand beside, beside well, their citizens. We're going to enforce the law in Arizona. Okay, but, but uh, State Senator Pierce, if there's a law already in place that allows you to do this, why not just deal with the former law? What's the problem? Why do you have to write something new? The, the problem is sanctuary policies. They're illegal. Under 8 U.S.C. 1644 and 8 U.S.C. 1373, it's Ill illegal. But we have them all over the United States. Houston, a sanctuary city, three police officers killed by illegals. San Francisco, the, the, the poster boy, if you will, for this, uh, three police officers killed by illegal aliens. Where does it end? We have an obligation to our citizens in the rule of law. This isn't about, you know, illegal is not about race. It's a crime. You know, we're going to enforce the laws in Arizona. We're going to stop apologizing. We're going to, we're going to protect the citizens of this state. You know, again, the deaths, the maimings, the billions of dollars in costs, enough is enough. We're going to enforce our laws. Okay, I'm going to get to Maria Teresa Kumar in just a moment about this because my uh, perception is that she will be opposing this. That said, you heard the mm hmms from Pat Buchanan. Uh, Pat, what do you think about this law? And I don't want you to say you just, just say that you agree with it for the obvious because people know your stance on this what is it that you think about this law needs to be implemented now well I think the, the senator's got a lot of courage the senator from Arizona we're talking with Mr. Pierce because the federal government has failed the country I mean the federal government is supposed to enforce the laws of the United States economically 8 million illegal aliens hold jobs in the United States or other, otherwise be held by unemployed folks we've got in this country are so, 15 million so unemployed. Pat, if those things have not been enforced who's not been doing the enforcing we talk about border patrol it, sheriffs I mean you talk about the federal government who do you I, think I has think dropped the, the ball Clearly, at, at the initially in the early Bush administration, I would blame President Bush directly for not enforcing the laws. I think he did a better job uh, later on. I think now they're they're dropping the ball on the security fence. But let me say this: the co I mean, the senator here has an outstanding point. These are American police officers who are being gunned down and killed by people who are breaking our laws, breaking into our country. For heaven's sakes, the safety of the people is the highest law, and the senator's try yeah. trying to write legislation. Legislation because of the failure of the federal government that will help Arizona protect its own peace officers. Mar I don't understand how you can oppose this. Maria Teresa Kumar, can you oppose it on that point? I They're think, trying no, I think that everybody is in agreement that we need to secure our borders and we need to make sure that all American citizens and residents are here, are safe. And that's not a problem. The problem with the legislation that is that it's going to disproportionately target, unfortunately, American Latinos as well. We don't know who's here undocumented, but we do know that we're encouraging racial profiling. And I'm just trying to figure out what the strategy is, because back in 1993, Pete Wilson tried to do the exact same thing with Proposition 187. In California, and sudden, right. In California. Right. And what that did is that it politicized the Latino community like you never saw. I mean, right. Latino Republicans in Arizona are organizing and telling the governor, if you pass this legislation, well, literally so their words are saying, we're going know, to smoke you out. So like Maria, 17 percent of the voting me, population. Maria, let me what, what do you expect? That, that's not true. Well, very quickly, though, I want to ask me what you expect. Effects will happen no. as a result uh, yeah. of this from Latino voters. And do you think it crosses whether or not on a bipartisan no. Uh, no. situation? I'm asking this of Maria. I th I'm sorry, I didn't hear the last part, but what I will, think. But I, Latino, mm -hmm. Latino voters, be they Republicans mm -hmm. or Democrats, what will they do if this law passes and is signed as of Saturday mm -hmm. by the governor of Arizona? 
the, Re the Latino Republican Party already has said that they're going to go and literally their words was we're going to smoke her out, the governor of Arizona. And it's because they're upset and they have very reason to be upset because Arizona right now is, and I completely agree, we really, I'll send you the statement. We, it's definitely true. And this is what's disturbing though is that we're talking about generations of American Latinos. You don't know if someone is undocumented just by looking at them. You simply don't. A grandmother can go for a walk and if she gets stopped and doesn't have her papers, no. you're talking about Alex, incarcerating Alex, her. Alex, Alex, I had to give up. Alex, I had to show important. my. I had to show ID getting on a plane on Monday. I had to show a draft card when I was a kid. You got to have your baptismal certificate to play football. Your whole life, you've got to have some kind of identification. Wait, wait, wait. If you don't, the cops and the cops say, "What are you up to?" They'll take you in if you don't ba show baptismal some kind of certificate of to play football. Really? Uh, how many times have we all ran to the Let store and forgotten our ID? These, all right. There's really some misinformation here. Okay, so, I mean, and first Senator of all, Pierce, I'm the, so out of the, time, the, but give me one thing that you believe is information. Well, M most of us that she said is untrue. First of all, we have a civil rights provision in the bill. We guarantee it. You cannot use race and ethnicity. We're simply taking the handcuffs off law enforcement. And 60% of Hispanics vote for, support this bill. 60%. The misinformation the must case. stop. We're going to enforce the law. We're not going to apologize. And the open border anarchists are not right. going to run the state of Arizona. Okay, that's going to have to be wrapped for right now. Clearly, this is something that warrants a yeah. lot more conversation. Anybody? Envious of the president right now? All right. <laughs> Republican yeah. State Senator Russell Pierce.